Book of 1 Thessalonians Chapter 2 Brothers and sisters, you yourselves know that our visit to you was not in vain. Even though we had previously suffered and been treated shamefully in Philippi, as you are aware, we were bold in our God to proclaim the gospel of God to you amidst much opposition. Our exhortation to you was not based on deception, impurity, or deceit. But, as God entrusted us with the gospel, we spoke not to please people but God, who examines our hearts. We never used flattery or had ulterior motives, as you know. God can testify to this. We didn't seek glory from people, whether from you or from others, even though as apostles of Christ, we could have made demands. Instead, we were gentle among you, like a nursing mother caring for her own children. Because of our deep affection for you, we were not only willing to share the gospel of God with you but also our own lives, because you have become dear to us. You remember, brothers and sisters, our toil and hardship, we worked night and day so as not to be a burden to any of you while we proclaimed the gospel of God to you. You are witnesses, and so is God, of how devoutly, justly, and blamelessly we conducted ourselves among you who believe. As you know, we encouraged, comforted, and implored each one of you, as a father does his own children, to walk in a manner worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory. And for this reason, we also constantly thank God, because when you received the word of God that you heard from us, you welcomed it not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God, which effectively works in you who believe. For, brothers and sisters, you became imitators of the churches of God in Judea, which are in Christ Jesus, for you also suffered the same things from your own countrymen as they did from the Jews, who both killed the Lord Jesus and the prophets, and drove us out, and displeased God and oppose all people, by hindering us from speaking to the Gentiles so that they may be saved. As a result, they continue to heap up their sins to the limit. But wrath has come upon them at last. But, brothers and sisters, since we were torn away from you for a short time, in person, not in heart, we endeavored all the more eagerly to see your face with great desire. Therefore, we wanted to come to you, even I, Paul, time and again, but Satan hindered us. For who is our hope or joy or crown of boasting before our Lord Jesus at his coming? Is it not you? You are our glory and joy.